All right, we are live. What is up, guys? Welcome back, everybody. It is Micro Mondays time, guys. Your favorite place every Monday night to be for everything Micro RC related. We're talking about new products, new builds, tips and tricks, events near you special guests, giveaways, and much more. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's RC Steve 710 and hope you guys had a great weekend. Shout out what you guys got yourselves into this past weekend or over the past week. Let me know what time it is where you are, guys. I know sometimes it can be late. Or early or right on time with that being said <clears throat> let me go ahead and start off by trying to get our co-host on the show give him some time to come on that's cool with me so might as well say what's up to everybody in the chat RC LCC 714 Dylan Ryder Burt Bagel Dom's RC mini line Sir Crawls a lot. Milk Tea RC, Unboosted RC, Mini Mayhem RC, Tiny Trucks, Sis Q24, Toto's Tiny Trucks. Everybody, what's up? We do have a Dragonfly V3 in the in the queue list, guys. It's about eight o'clock, ten o'clock. Right on. Love the East Coast love, guys. Well, let's go ahead and get this show started have a lot of stuff want to get to it a lot of cool stuff that is too if you guys see dirt mcgirt anywhere hopping on make sure you guys let me know we do have a special giveaway tonight guys so stay tuned you guys might see the giveaway prize here on my screen um so we're also going to be bringing on <clears throat> our special guest which is um, the guy that's giving away these awesome showroom display mats you guys don't want to miss out but give you a hint it is a uh, milk tea rc <laughs> so if you do want a chance at winning this giveaway sorry guys let me put that on silent if you do want a chance at winning this tonight make sure you're following milk tea rc here on instagram Alrighty, so hope you guys got some cool stuff done over the weekend. Myself, I was lucky enough. We got to hit up the RC swap meet down here in SoCal, Fontana, California to be exact. Hosted by Southridge RC. And man, let me tell you guys about the experience. That was, a, that was one of the coolest uh, RC swap meets I've ever been to. I've only been to a few of them over here, but this one, this one came out swinging hard. When I'm saying there had to have been a good amount of people, I'd say anywhere from 500 to a thousand people. Um, about <clears throat> 40, 40 vendors or 40 or more vendors or booths, pop up tents, people selling stuff, a whole bunch to do. Myself, I uh, did not get to go walk around actually at all. I was at my little booth area selling some micro goodies. If you did stop by and you said what up, that was awesome to see you guys in person over the weekend and get to catch up, say what's up. You guys got some steals and deals. I did pick up um a couple of things really much probably like only three things maybe one thing being micro rc specific but got it right here um got some of these acres engineering 1.8 beadlocks with the enjora klingons already ready to go so pretty cool don't know what i'm going to use those for but it was a definitely a great deal to get on one of those. Let's see. 
other than that, a whole bunch of people came by. Guys, I have a lot of stuff, so just wanted to bless a lucky person that walked on by who was looking for a good deal on a micro project or chassis or part, um, letting stuff go for good deals. And yeah, it was pretty fun overall. Just a lot of people came through. A lot of people said they had a good time. And that's what I like to hear. So, if you guys missed that and uh, missed the chance to uh, check out some of the RC culture and, and all the people down here. Let's see. It looks like... Sorry about that. I'm trying to get a hold of Mark, but I'm not sure if he's in here or not. <laughs> he's saying he's looking for me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, if you guys didn't get a chance to say what's up and stop by the swap meet, um, and you are still in SoCal, this chant, uh, this weekend, you guys have a chance to, uh, um, say what's up to me. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, if you're gonna head over to the Simi, uh, Valley area in SoCal, Little Guy Racing Parts is having a sunset crawl session uh, it's it's November 16th guys from 3 p.m. to sunset I'll show you guys the little flyer right here but you'll be able to crawl with the LGRP crew and everybody that um, is local to the area whoever can attend uh, you'll be able to see some of the new trucks in action so that would be a good chance, your best bet to see, you know, everything that's uh, expected to be released, which they kind of teased already about the axles and um, maybe something else. You never know. But take a look at, over at Little Guy Racing Parts for all the details. Uh, Milk TRC himself also is planning a little get together that day. You guys don't want to just come out for the sunset crawl session and you guys want to you know make make the day worthwhile um, if you're coming far and wide milk tea can host a is hosting a little day where you're pretty much non-stop crawling a uh, little bit of lunch time a little bit of dinner time and just crawling everywhere and anywhere all in between so Hit, check out Milk TRC's page for that also. So there's a lot of stuff happening over in SoCal area. I know that there's a few cool events coming up as well. And some cool comp events that happened this past weekend. Uh, the New Jersey State Championships just happened this past weekend. If you guys were able to attend that. Uh, let us know if you guys were able to attend any other of the events. Definitely shout it out and uh, let us know what event you attended. I know some of you guys were able to compete if you guys like to compete this weekend. So I love seeing all the posts that you guys are able to tag or post up. And let's see. Uh, actually, let me see if I can get Mark on here now. <clears throat> there he is difficulty joining up earlier but any uh links inquiries um just send me a message guys and i'll get back to you asap there's a lot quite a few i gotta get to um since i, I was kind of busy over the weekend with the swap meet and then just kind of catching up with uh, the regular life so I will definitely get to you guys. Well, there he is. Yo. Don't forget, guys. Mark has arrived. What What's is happening, happening? Hey, <clears throat> Welcome back, Mark, to another one of Micro Mondays. We're glad that we're all connected up nice and easy. How was your weekend, yeah, that was and man? Barely seamless for a chain, huh? Yeah. I just got a crazy invite to go live. I said, let's go. Let's go. All right. Cool. Yeah, everybody's saying what is up. So, Mark, 
talking about the Southridge RC swap meet that happened. So besides all the selling that I did, there was a whole bunch of stuff I couldn't even really get to check out. But I was right next to Little Guy Racing Parts, uh, next to uh, Hobby Town booth, next to IERC for the 110th uh, Crawler Guys. So there was a lot of good homies and companies around me. And actually, uh, just behind me, Mark, there was like a little um vendor or someone selling some homemade crawler courses and those looked amazing too like completely like like a scale looking with the with the amazing grip look like I, I didn't even get a chance to crawl last weekend so it was what it, it is what it was but I'm trying to if you guys know the contact information of those people shout it out and in the chat and if you guys did end up going to the swap meet which i know a couple of you guys did um shout out if you guys uh had a good day but what did you, did you get done over the weekend mark i actually felt normal finally by saturday so that was good no more sickness i mean I, my voice still sounds scratchy but i'm i feel good so Amazing. That made that made it so much more of a better weekend already. Uh, um, I got <clears throat> one of my one of two for the same client builds finished, and it's so amazing. I can't even like I can't show you guys, but when I can, and when he gets it, he's gonna be blown the fuck away. Um, it's it's more than paint. It's more than anything. It's Something cool for his kids, so it's gonna be rad when you guys see it. I got that finished. Now I just gotta finish up the one for him. Basically interior windows and then just the little out outer details with some pens and stuff and washes. So I'll hopefully send those out <clears throat> after next weekend. And hopefully he'll get them and post them up as soon as uh as soon as he gets it. So that'll be cool. Look forward to seeing that. One is actually based off that M710, um, and the other one's a SR5. So, but totally unique in my opinion. That, that and that's pretty much all I got done RC wise. I focused on that stuff instead of my own shit for a second. That's always yeah. good. Crank them out. Yeah. Crank We'll check yeah, this gotta, out. Yeah, I got to get it done because now it's not hot and we can go out fucking driving. Yeah, we need to see some some of those bodies and builds that you've done uh, get crawled. Let's see. Look at what I uh, spotted over the past weekend at the swap meet yeah. at the LGRP booth. There's one of their uh, display trucks right there showing off the spider nine axles i wonder who does their lexan paint a local guy over here i believe yeah um, but there is another little sneak peek right in front of your guys's eyes if you don't see it already um if besides you, axles besides the axles those you, tires look dope they do, do look dope so yeah did you have hands on those did not have hands well yeah i kind of did and they, uh they soft and squishy like the black labels yeah let's just say these are gonna be another game changer for the lgrp lineup cool with that so yeah man there you go there's a little sneak peek right there for you guys um, so maybe you guys can see those in action at the uh, upcoming uh, this weekend out in uh, the Simi Valley area. Iron Claw, they're called? Milk tea? Iron Claw. There you go. Okay. Probably. Probably have some. So we got a couple more things mark so some big uh news actually 
from the guys over at Mix Racing. A whole bunch of racing companies. Gotta love it. But these, I think I hear some tunes, some good tunes. Too loud. It's not even up that loud. It's funny. <laughs> sometimes it picks it up, and sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, right. Um, Mia's Racing. They have been killing it. Uh, releasing crazy products that we've been asking for. The nylon ISO axles for the performance of weight weenies. Uh, now. Now we had the MB18 released, guys. If you guys had some of those MB18 builds uh, ready to go, I know I have one in a box that I'm ready to build up. I've been kind of waiting because they also were teasing an upcoming IFS system for the TRX4M, and that's definitely a first for the TRX4M. And now, Mark, they just finally released it, um, I believe, just this weekend. So let's take a look at it. Now, what I'm saying, this thing has tons of features and details uh, that you wouldn't or would expect somebody to design in, in a little micro crawler, Mark. This is a top-notch quality uh, package right here. So okay. while it is, is on, you know, a higher end of a price tag, we're talking everything yeah, but that is looks usually badass. machined aluminum. And let's try and zoom in. Trailing a arms? Bit. Yeah, trailing arms, upper arms. Upper lower lower arms. arms. That's a, but I see... Dog bone. Dog bones, yeah, kind of like the same, like the proper IFS cups and stuff like that, output cups. So, skid plate, guys, a lot of, looks like this why didn't they do, feature is behind Why didn't they do the double U-joints? That's weird. Why do you do dog bone U-joint? That's usually how they I mean, yeah, think that yeah, uh, it's worked on 110 shit for years, but I still would prefer to see a nice double U for yeah, 120 that'd bucks. Be, that'd be nice. Oh, so for sure. Buy a double rear shock mount <clears throat> on the drag or the. Yeah. Okay. So. All machines. It, it, <clears throat> somebody said portals. Uh, it looks to be like a. Uh, Portal style, but isn't is that? Portal? It's probably just one to one gear. Yeah, would jet or to keep the the axle extreme angle from being too extreme. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Provides clearance and still has, you know, good droop. And then and up here is the uh, looks to be electronics. Area and then motor skid play area, so pretty cool okay. design. All of it's all here's the whole setup, guys. That you can oh, wow. see it all set up right there. Now, this attaches to what chassis? It attaches to their MB18 chassis. Okay. Um, will it attach, guys, to other chassis? I'm sure it. I'm sure it will. It looks like it just attaches it right here in this area, and then the rest is free floating. Maybe some support up here. Oh, it looks like so. It looks like that's where. I don't know. You guys let me know. Would you guys put it on a different system? Different chassis? Or would you guys keep it with this sick, like, free runner cage? I personally need one of these bad. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. I might uh, reconfigure.
consider not buying a Grom. Yeah. This has a lot of features. You can see right here the servo. We're kind of showing it where it's rear facing. There's still a lot of clearance to put the steering. Everything's perfect. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Okay. So you, is that a turnbuckle servo steering setup? Am I seeing that right? Yeah. Okay. And then in the back or in the front, I'm, I should say, uh, depending on which servo, it looks like there's still enough clearance for like, you know, long, long style can servos, which this might be just an ordinary style, an ordinary length servo enclosure. So encasing, so mm -hmm. looks really cool. Shocks look like you can maybe get away with longer shocks. Would you want to? Not too sure. Um, but here is the under carriage of it all set up. Hmm. Pretty cool, Mark. Lots of lots of designing that went into this, and a lot of machining. Any uh, questions you guys got? Looks like there's adjustable shock key or shock tower for that MB18 chassis, guys. So plenty of options to tune your rear right. suspension, shock which is two awesome. Shocks. I wonder if anybody has a... <clears throat> Who had those, those bypass shocks? Was that a Samix? Samix? Next racing, next. That's what it was. I wonder if they have the long ones would work as a front. Oh, that would be cool. And run, run dual. I forget what the yeah dual shocks. Yeah. Crazy. So if this is your your thing, guys, the whole setup comes at 130 grams. So you're getting a lot of weight up front, and then including that, you know, aluminum trailing arms in the back. It looks like most of the weight is going to be in this front thing, front bulkhead, of course. And it looks crazy. They're going for 120 again, and then. They had to go crazy, Mark, and then drop. Okay. The aluminum MB18 Pro is what they're calling it. They did have a like a MB24 or the Ripper for the SCX24 and the TRX4M. Only a hundred made. We're doing the same thing again for this uh, whole lineup of guys again. So only a Hundred made of each of these color setups: black, blue, or the silver uh, cage, and then they're each numbered uh, one through a hundred. So I don't actually know if it's a limited edition like that, guys. I thought it was. If they can just keep cranking them out, then that's pretty sick. I think they would be. 350, guys. The blue one. And the blue one looks insane. They all look insane. They're fully uh, anodized, guys. The raw. Everything's aluminum. In this, the body is too. Oh, yeah. aluminum body shell. <laughs> yeah, aluminum car body and frame. That's great. Interesting. Okay. So you're gonna get the full little mini ripper experience, basically. Three fifty brand new. Yeah, I'm, I'm expect some guys to 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 be like the resellers, hang on to them, and 
does happen, but I don't see it say, guys, you know, uh, <clears throat> a limited to 100 this time. So, kind of interesting. The wheelbase is designed for the high trail wheelbase, basically. So, if it's if you have a Bronco, they're giving you included some high trail length rear links. It's pretty dope. If you guys already got one, let me know if, uh, let us know next week or whenever you guys get them if it is numbered. That would be sick. I would add more icing to the price, to the limited, limitedness. Okay, so to build one, you need the front IFS that we just showed, right? You don't necessarily need one, but yeah, it would look, it would be perfect. Well, isn't that just the, the cage in the body? Yeah, but you can still run like a straight axle if you want. I know, to. but to actually build what we're talking about. Yeah, so you would need to buy like all of that if you want the full setup. Yeah, okay. I'll need a second job. About like 500 bucks in the end. I mean, more like so seven, if you, 750. If you want a chance to win one, though, guys, we all love that, right? You know, Mias has been around pretty much as long as we've been around, guys. Micro Mondays. So they're celebrating their fourth anniversary by giving a couple of them away. One of them for free and the rest for a, a nice discount. So if you guys want in on this, you guys have till the end of this week to get your entries in. And it's very easy. Simply just go to the Mias Racing page. You're going to see this green little button down here. You're going to click it. It's going to pop up. Join to enter the MB18 Pro. You just click enter now right here. You simply just enter the email. And then they will be having a drawing. Let's find out. November 17th at 6 p.m. You can find it at oh, wow. the YouTube of the Shop Mini RC. So, the, uh, so you have until Friday to get your entries in, guys. Cool. I'm, not, so, I'm, I'm glad they're not letting it run too long. So it looks like, guys, it is probably limited to, to 100 because it's saying number one. Uh, uh, chassis number one through number three will get a Mias Limited TRX Aluminum MB18 body for free. So maybe three winners will get a free MB18. Who knows? Probably not numbered. Looks like there's 10 rewards. Four through six will get 50% off. The MB18 Pro, and then 7 through 10 will get 30% off the uh, MB18. So oh. pretty cool. Maybe just hang on, guys, if you're you're feeling lucky and think you want to win, or you are going to win, and you want that discount or the free one, enter in, guys. It's real easy to join. So get over to the website, and just you'll find the link real easy to go over there. So, me is racing, man. I can't wait to see um, if other companies are going to start offering, like, uh, IFS systems or, or get inspired to do stuff like that, too. Yeah, they came out of nowhere, too, when we first started doing this. I was like, oh, cool. Somebody makes portals. You know, it's kind of their thing. Yeah. You know, and they had a bunch of stuff. I saw some. Something cool. Big dumb dad hobbies. <clears throat> Want to build a tiny Humvee using their IFS on both ends. That's pretty smart. Um, but we, 
Would it be four wheel steering or would you lock the rear so it would be traditional? I'm going to do the full IFS, the full independent suspension. That's going to be sick. Uh, 